Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your tool icon in Roblox Studio for your Roblox games. Now, if you don't know what a tool icon is, it is this right here, which is, you know, the gear icon, same thing. And this is a box of cola, as you can see here. And this is basically the icon is representing what the tool looks like. Now, I'm going to show you how to change this picture here and just change it to whatever you want. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you have Explorer and Properties open, which you just go up here in the upper area in Roblox Studio and go to View. And you can see you can select Explorer and Properties. If it's gray, that means that you already have them open. And you can also open the toolbox as well if you want. If you don't have a tool yet, you can go ahead and like search up one, like Boxy Cola, for example. So once you have the tool and you have Explorer and Properties open, I want you to go ahead and go to that tool and just select it. I already have mine in the starter pack, which is that that's where you meet it if you want your character to automatically, you know, join the game and automatically have the tool. You don't want to have the tools in the starter pack. So anyways, you select this tool here and you're going to go to properties now and you look in the data, you're going to see texture ID, which is actually the ID of the icon. Now, basically, we're going to go ahead and change this to whatever we want. But I'm also going to go ahead and make a brand new icon for this in paint.net. And uh, unless you already have a picture, you can just, you know, skip past this part. It started. I'm going to use paint.net. And I have talked about paint.net many times before. If you don't have like an editing software thing, you should definitely get paint.net because it's very useful. I use it for making my video thumbnails. It's very awesome. So this is my custom icon here I just created. It took me like five minutes to you know, figure it out and everything, how I wanted it and all that. So let's go ahead and just save this image here. All right, now I'm saving it. And there we go. So once you have the picture that you want or is this finished creating, you want to go ahead and go to create. All right, then you want to go ahead and go to decals, which is under the models. You want to go ahead and upload your image. I'm just going to leave the name how it is. It doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and upload that, and once you finish uploading it, go ahead and just click on that decal, and it'll take you to the page of the decal, and then you're going to go ahead and go to the link here, and you can see this number in it. You want to go ahead and actually copy this number, it is the decal ID, which is going to be now the tool icon ID. So let's go ahead and go back to Roblox Studio, go back to where we saw the texture ID on the Bloxy Cola, and go ahead and just just select all this and then we're going to get rid of it, we're going to delete it and go ahead and paste in the new ID and then enter it and then it'll just automatically set it to that. So once you're done changing the tool icon, we'll go ahead and test it in the game and make sure that it actually changed. It looks really awesome, I think this just looks great and it can be very useful when someone's trying to keep the same art style in their game, they just change you know, the tool icons to have the same kind of style as each other. And, you know, that makes it really good, I think. So, I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you did, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And until next time, goodbye.